Good morning again and uh, welcome to our morning devotion insight. And uh, I have a scripture that I want to share with you and uh, it's found in James chapter 1 verse 2 to 4. And uh, it says this way, it says, Consider it pure joy, brother, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. And I will entitle this morning's sharing as Waiting in Silence. Waiting in Silence. You know, most of us don't like to have silence. That's why we, you know, maybe you look around and you see all the time we are having our handphones. You know why? Because we, we just want to be occupied. You know, we just want to tell ourselves, it seems very awkward, you know, if I'm quiet, if I'm, if I'm silent. But here, uh, we see that silence uh, helps us to not only re recalibrate, but silence also helps us to rethink, you know, refocus, being able to hear God, being able to say, indeed God, be still and know that you are God. And in Psalm 62 verse 1 says it this way, My soul waits in silence, for God only. My soul waits in silence for God only. And just now as I was uh, reading James chapter 1, it says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, when we face times of different kinds of uh, trials and uh, temptation, whatever. And it is through times of trials that we find that silence makes a lot of difference because Sometimes when we go through a trial, there's not much to talk anymore. There's not much to say anymore because we feel a bit beaten down. We, we feel despondent. We feel, God, where am I? Why am I in this predicament? So some of the best times in prayer are wordless times. Wordless. No words. Some of the best time is to say, God, I'm really very tired and I don't have any more words to say. I've said enough. So sometimes, even in my own life, I stop speaking, I close my eyes and I meditate upon what I've been reading from the Word of God and I listen from the inside what the Holy Spirit is trying to tell me. I listen deeply. I listen for reproofs. I think of myself as a home with many doors. As I'm meditating, and often it helps to close my eyes so I won't be distracted. I unlock one door and open them as I wait. So it's here that the Holy Spirit invades us. It is waiting in silence that the Holy Spirit begin to invade us, begin to show us, you know, you said that, in a very rude manner. You know, that attitude was wrong. You know, you, you, you think of some things that are bad about certain people, you know, and that was a wrong attitude. That was a wrong act. So, and when we begin to listen and we begin to wait in silence, we take our circumstances before God and we listen with doors open. Say, God, change me, help me, renew me, renew my mind, huh? give me a better attitude. So here we, we see that it's in the listening down inside. How do we get the listening down inside? It's when we are silent. It's when we are silent. My friends, it's sensing what God is saying about our situation. You know, some of us, we are so, we are grumbling, we are, we, are, we are venting, you know, in social media. And we love to go social media, isn't it? To vent, to rant, to say all kinds of trash, to say, you know, I don't like it this way and I don't like it that way and so on and so forth. But why don't we tell ourselves, you know, waiting in silence, and say, God, you know, that I will, whatever situation, I will come to you. His promise is, after all, that he will inscribe his word, his will, 
upon our hearts and our minds so that we can be able to shine for Him. We can be able to rise up huh, to be victorious in Him. So it's just like when you are in love with a person. Isn't it true? The deeper the love, the less that has to be said. You know, sometimes you look at some, uh, you know, you know, when they are newly uh, in love, you know, they, they, they don't talk, they don't have to talk much. They look at one another's eyes. You can actually tell, oh, you see, they, they are new in love because they are so in love with one another. Nothing much to say. So, it tells us that it can be the deepest encounter and relationship you and I can know with God when we begin to tell ourselves, Lord, I will wait in silence to hear what you want to tell me. To hear what you want to tell me. It says, those who wait upon the Lord will gain new strength, isn't it? In Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. It says, the key is waiting. The key is waiting. Those who wait upon the Lord will gain new strength. Do you need new strength today, friends? Yes, we do, isn't it? We need new strength every day, every moment. So we need to tell ourselves, why don't we learn to wait? There's a sense of stability when we trust God, when we wait upon Him. That's how we wait silently and with a sense of confidence. When we wait for God to direct our steps, He does. When we trust Him to meet our needs, He will. So, it says here, God tempers us and seasons us, making us mellow and mature when we wait on Him. So whatever that we are going through, young, old, uh, believers, non-believers, through this whole pandemic, I'm sure we have totally learned that we need to mellow down. We need to focus. We need to learn to wait upon God and say, God, upon your timing, upon what, what, what you want to do in my life, in our nation, in the whole entire world, uh, that we need to say, God, we will wait upon you. Uh, and may you mount up with wings like an eagle. Amen.